Load Runner The Legend Returns was originally released on PC back in 1994 and was published by Sierra. It was the follow up to the 1983 classic Load Runner, which I personally remember because of the NES version, but many more of you most likely remember it from the Apple II. It was an extremely popular action puzzle game that was actually one of the first to feature a level editor. My brother and I used to build levels all the time and try and one-up each other by creating the next impossible to solve masterpiece. Load Runner The Legend Returns was ported to the original PlayStation in 1998 and included both the original 1994 PC version, which contained 150 levels plus the level editor, and also included something called Load Runner Extra, which featured less levels but were much more difficult compared to the other version. What you're seeing here though is the Japanese import of the Sega Saturn version, which sadly never made it out of Japan. This one was was released in 1996 and was published by Patra. Now before I get too far into the review, I have a shout out to make to one mortal porcupine. He's been following the channel for some time now and has been disgusted with all the 3D Saturn goodness I've been reviewing as of late. So he recommended I give this game a spin, which I took him up on his offer. And I picked up this bad boy alongside Load Runner Extra for the Saturn from eBay. And I have to say, thanks a million, dude. This is one excellent game. I previously owned the PS1 version, but have completely, or had completely forgotten all about this hidden gem. Now what makes Load Runner The Legend Returns so awesome is that it's a true old school hardcore action puzzler. There are no passwords, no save feature, it's just you and the game. If you die, you start all the way back at level one and have to go through all 150 levels in one sitting. Now that, boys and girls, is how games used to be made. Now before retro-based gaming was actually a thing, Presage, the game's developer, was years ahead of the curve. They took the original Load Runner concept and tweaked it ever so slightly to end up with a truly superb game. The gameplay is ridiculously simple, but therein lies its charm. All the action takes place on a single screen. There's ground, ladders, treasure, and much, much more throughout each of the levels. Your objective is to collect all the hidden treasure and make your way to the stage's exit. The catch is though, there are cannibalistic monks all over the place that will chase you down. One hit from them and you're finished. You're not completely unarmed though. You have the power to dig a single hole either on the left or right of your character. Doing so will cause one of the monks to fall into the hole and allows you to run over their head to get away. Don't stay in one spot for too long though as they'll eventually climb out. And if you happen to fall into a hole, Unless there's a space on either side of you for you to dig out, you're pretty much screwed because the holes will refill within a few seconds. There are also multiple types of ground or turf. Some can be dug through and others can't. So you have to always think quickly when you're surrounded by two or three monks and that's what I love the most about this game. See, do you have like enough space for you to dig several holes one after another so that all the monks will fall and you can just run it all over them or are you pretty much screwed? And that's the real charm of this game. It forces you to think in stressful situations and well, it's a real challenge. New to The Legend Returns are special items you can pick up and use. These include a jackhammer, bombs, and many others. As the levels progress, you'll have more and more items at your disposal, but you have to be really smart about when you use them as they're often in extremely limited supply. The game's 150 levels are broken down into 10 worlds. There are also 30 unique two-player co-op levels which force players to really work together to make it out alive. I should also add that in the single player portion of the game, as you complete each level, you get one extra life. Graphically, the game runs smoothly and retains the old school look and feel. Literally, the game looks just about identical to the original PC versions from the 1980. Except, well, this one's in color. While the stages feature a very simple static backdrop for the background, I really appreciate what the developer was going for. It's simple and effective game design that really remains timeless, and they certainly succeeded in that aspect. The music is also basic, but very catchy. 
Finally, we come to the level editor, which is extremely powerful and will keep you glued to the screen for hours. If you enjoy the Trapham gameplay, you'll be absolutely hooked. There is so much content here, it's just insane. The game comes extremely highly recommended. Now before you race out there and pick up the Saturn import, I should mention that the PS1 version does contain both everything you see here plus the extra levels from Load Runner Extra, and that version is only goes for about 12 bucks, whereas the Saturn games go for around $10 each. So odds are you're better off getting the PS1 version only because it's more bang for your buck. That being said, if you're a hardcore Saturn fan like I am, just know that this particular version is all in English. Even the options are in English, so there's absolutely no language barrier whatsoever. I really, really strongly recommend you go ahead and look into this game. It's a classic example of gameplay over graphics and fun over anything else. And it's an absolute blast that deserves far more praise than it ever received upon its original release. Go check out Load Runner The Legend Returns on the Sega Saturn.